Hey everybody, welcome back. Yeah, I know, I'm still on this pig. This thing has been driving me nuts. And I was trying to go through it to make sure it was timed. I went over and over again, timing it and timing it. Still not right. And then it finally dawned on me. What could have been the problem? Well, these cams, because I couldn't get it to work, always coughing out. These cams are front to back cams. They can't be swapped. And that's what it was. He had the front cam in the back, the back cam in the front, and that will never be in time because they're set up differently. Now, you might ask, well, how do you tell the difference? Is by that groove right there. See that groove? That means that's the back cam for this. Now look at this one. That's the winner. I have to fold. Where is it at? See that one there? No groove. See this one here? It's got the little groove right there in the middle. That is the only way you can tell the difference between the two cams. There is the problem. That's been my problem the whole time and here I was thinking, but that wasn't all my problem. There was another issue with the front uh, cylinder. What happened was this, at time, dropped a valve, which it seems like all, a lot of these do. But it wasn't a bad beat, it was just one pop, it must have been low, or they just tried to start it and it popped off or something. It wasn't real bad. But look what it did to the valve. Okay, it's not going to focus in on there. i got to get here so we can focus in on this. See that little dimple? See that? That was making it not work too. Now, it kind of run with that, but not very good. So it was good that I took it apart because I knew that the front, there was no compression in the front. So that was bad too. So here this motor should have been ready to go, was not even close. This guy had it timed wrong, he had the wrong cam on the wrong side, he had the front, he had the wrong head on the wrong side, the wrong cylinder. This guy did not know what he was doing. And I should have known that. So I, but I know now. Don't trust anybody to think they know what they're doing when they're putting an engine together. This guy had no clue on how to put this engine together. I was starting to wonder about myself on this thing. Because I was like, man, it was driving me nuts. You can see, I pulled all this off and redid it. Didn't have to do that. <laughs> I really didn't. I just had to change the cams out. But you don't know that. That's what it comes to. So now I got it switched right. I'm ready to put this puppy back together and see if it will fire. My goodness, this has been a long drawn out process. So when that time comes, I'll bring you along. I don't know if it's going to be on this video or another video. We'll have to see when I can get, if I get it done and when I get it done. But uh, I'll be back. All right, well, I got her started. There it is, smoking like a pothead at Woodstock. So, you know what that means. That means I should have rebuilt the thing and said forget it from the beginning. But it looked decent. I didn't think it would have that issue. And they all look pretty good. My bad. So, what I'm doing is putting this thing up. i got to order a kit for it. Moving on, this thing will come back later and be taken apart and uh, fixed of the smoking problem it has. Get it some nicotine patches or something. Uh, so, but it runs decent. Uh, one thing, the reason this is not running right, it's got the belt light on, which that's easy to fix. Uh, we do got a little bit of oil leak, but I think that's right from here. Not really too worried about that. But uh, that's where we're at. So 
put this one in the parking and I'll pull the other one out. We'll start putting it back together. I got all the stuff for it. I don't have, I got all the gasket kit. I don't have no rings, but you know now. The guy just took that one apart. He said it was running fine. But I might double think and talk about that. So, all right, well, I just want to bring you up to date on this. King, this is the Brute Force 750. So I'll bring you back on when it comes back live, and I'll bring you back when I'm working on the other one. Everybody have a good one. Subscribe, push the bell, get some notifications every time I put up a video. Never know what it's going to be. Take care, everybody.